German prosecutors have charged Volkswagen's former CEO, Martin Winterkorn, with serious fraud. That's over his part in the diesel emissions cheating scandal that engulfed Volkswagen and other car makers. Winterkorn is the first auto company boss to be charged over the scandal in Germany. And Rob Watts is uh, here in the studio with us from DW Business to break all of this down for us. So what exactly is he accused of, Rob? So, and you mentioned there, serious fraud. Well, actually, the prosecutors have used the words particularly serious fraud in relation to this case. He's charged alongside four others. We don't actually know who those four others are, but he's also accused of not only the fraud, but of uh, breaking competition rules. As you mentioned, the first uh, automotive boss to be charged in Germany over the diesel emission scandal. And that's what this is all about. So let's just remind ourselves of exactly what that was. So the diesel emission scandal was the use of software by the likes of VW to make their cars uh, appear to be emitting fewer harmful chemicals during testing than they actually did when they were out on the road. And uh, what it's thought is that VW sold something like 10 million cars between 2007 and 2015 that had this cheating software installed. What Mr. Winterkorn is accused of is knowing about this sooner than he let on. I mean, he resigned more or less immediately after the scandal uh, broke in 2015, but prosecutors in Germany of today said they think he knew about this as early as 2014, but didn't let anyone know. And it's not the only legal trouble that he's in, is it? No, it's not. So we mentioned he's being charged in Germany, but he's actually also facing charges in America, where this has been a, a very big deal there. He's being sued. VW is also being sued. But there is particular focus on Martin Winterkorn there. They don't want him to ever be allowed to run uh, another organization that has uh, operations in the US uh, ever again. Um, but he was unlikely to actually face trial in the US because Germany has a habit of not extraditing. In fact, it has a rule of not extraditing uh, its citizens. But now he's been charged in Germany itself. He may well end up having that day in court. So walk us through now what happens next, not only for Winterkorn, but also for VW. Yes, for VW, this is yet more bad press. It's the scandal that won't go away. They're clearly very keen to draw a line under it. It's cost them billions of euros. Just last year, actually, prosecutors in Germany uh, fined them a billion euros over the scandal. But in the US, they've also had fines of around 20 billion euros. So they're desperate to break free of this, as you might expect. Martin Winterkorn, well, the prosecutors have said today that he faces uh, between six months and 10 years behind bars if he is convicted of these charges. He also faces uh, having any bonuses that he made as a result of the sales made over those years uh, being withdrawn from him. Okay, so a big day when it comes to accountability for the emissions cheating scandal. Um, first time that we've seen a top boss like this charged within Germany. Rob Watts breaking it down for us. Thanks so much. Thank you.